Hey, hey, welcome to MTG Cards and Review. My name is Chris. Appreciate you guys for stopping by. Uh, we got a very special little mail day here that we're going to go over. However, before we do that, just a quick reminder. I am still waiting to get uh, contact information so that I can mail out uh, some stuff here for uh, uh, bartender, uh, bartender Bob MTG uh, from the May Battle. Uh, and uh, also waiting to hear back from Jason as well though Hugen or Hogdenton Houghton Houghton uh, again I'm I do my best with names sometimes I do really well man sometimes I have a uh, I tend to uh, not do so well uh, the other thing I still need to do is I got to mail out uh, <clears throat> still waiting to hear back from uh, also Matt Lease on his mailing information and then I got uh, some stuff that I need to mail out for uh, Archangel uh, but <clears throat> uh, I've got hit Archangel's information here um, just need to see about what basically we're going to send out though because man I don't know about you guys but uh, shipping uh, internationally though has uh, gotten quite expensive this uh, uh, I just shipped out uh, Mr. Ryan Watts uh, winnings from the May uh, random sub battles and uh, what I did on that <clears throat> uh, is I just shipped out the uh, basically the hits at this point though uh, and that's what I'll be doing with international shipping though if you are uh, so that's uh, basically how the international I will handle those I will ship those um, basically on the hit side uh, if you want the entire content or you want more of it though just hit me up let me know I'll see what we can do on that part um, <clears throat> I've got of course uh, I've got some commander Legends Baldur's Gate coming um, that of course is uh, I think next week is the pre-release weekend um, so I have some of that that I'm going that I'm trying to get I also of course will be looking to at least get one uh, double feature though or not double feature uh, the other double the double masters 2022 um, so that's what we got to cover here. Now, I got a couple other things though uh, to basically go over here. Uh, the, this is basically what we're looking at though for a basically a, a mail day video, if you will. Though normally I do my mail, mail day videos just specifically for the when I receive mail from uh, my subscribers though, or from uh, basically. Um, my uh, uh, basically uh, content creators that I'm a part of their uh, Patreon. Uh, however, this is basically something that uh, I've really been uh, wanting and what I ended up doing and I still have some left is doing a little bit of uh, basically buy listing though. So I went ahead and basically uh, Got myself something that uh, that I've not had in a long time though. Uh, I was gonna get, and I still would like to get. I still need to get a city of shadows uh, from the dark. But I went ahead and decided to go ahead and get basically a uh, old school dual land. Um, And this is basically what I ended up with here it is a revised uh, copy of Plateau, which of course gives you your nice red and white mana as the uh, basically as the hit card. I had 
basically the opportunity to acquire this with that trade value and so uh, the place that I got it from uh, definitely hold on to the box though not sure about this but for now we'll hold on to it um, basically uh, I got it from Star City Games though been pretty happy with uh, basically some of the <coughs> experiences that I've had with them uh, over the years and so I decided that I was going to go ahead and do something uh, basically uh, with that and my original plan was that I was going to go ahead and get the uh, basically um, City of Shadows because at the price they had it for at 109 or 100 and, yeah something like that 104 um, for a white plate uh, just like this one uh, basically you know was it was within what I my trade and gave me some flexibility though to uh, consider uh, basically doing some other uh, trades though or some other um, basically items that I would like to have though uh, working on the dark set though um, but then uh, as luck would have it uh, by the time they rolled around and got uh, my trade value uh, completed though they had uh, here uh, with the Memorial Weekend they had the 15% uh, off of non-basic lands and of course that made it a better deal on basically doing the uh, uh, City of Shadows but that also brought one of the dual lands uh, into basically play now there were other dual lands that I certainly would have uh, loved to have considered getting though but um, yeah and, yeah I mean there was so if I could have gotten uh, basically uh, you know some of the other ones though uh, you know, if you want to uh, basically say uh, you know your uh, basically you know tundra though or underground sea obviously not touching alpha beta though <laughs> no way I mean no you get uh, th those are those are way out of my price league without uh, at this point. Now win the lottery. Tell you what, I win the lottery. And one of the things that you'll see here at some point though is basically me showing off at least a complete set of um, basically the revised uh, dual lands though and probably a set of four in each of those. No, but outside, going outside of that, though, then you know you're, you're looking at you know, like basically volcanic island, um, you know, as being going to be the uh, basically uh, you know the uh, basically that and the underground sea are effectively the. Uh, really the most uh, uh, iconic or used play though I mean because obviously they, the color scheme though with those was such a hit though um, yeah uh, but then you get down to you know then you come down uh, into the you know after those that uh, Bayou Bayou is another great one. Um, 
Tegra, Badland, Badlands, I, it, Badlands. I, I, Badlands was one of the cards, you know, one of those uh, ones that I loved to play with. Um, and had, uh, in fact, I think I had all of the dual lands from the Vise, but if I recall right now, um, I typically had Bayou's, uh, Tigra, Badlands, Scrublands, uh, Savannah, <clears throat> and Plateau, and then, of course, the, the other one that I had typically had, though, uh, was the, um, yeah, I think I've had an, an underground sea. I might have had two of those, uh, but one definitely. Um, the volcanic island, though, as well, scrubbing. You know, I had a, I had at least one of each, though. Um, I, of course, wish I had them, though, but uh, you know, wishes, uh, unless you have a, unless you somehow find them. Uh, magical lamp that has a genie inside um, and I'd be really careful about using wishes with a genie because all you have to do is read about the uh, basically the books the stories the uh, even the movies on how uh, the genies uh, uh, are not uh, you know you can make your wishes but they're they're basically uh, not exactly very um, usually very helpful, very friendly though, I mean, uh, they typically are uh, more of a, uh, basically, jokers, pranksters though, I mean, you, you, you name it though. Now, if, uh, oh, that basically I've got, I forget what I've got left, i got like, uh, let's say, <coughs> Let's say we got. I got about forty left. Okay, uh, forty uh, credit though. So now that I've sorted my um, basically uh, all my rares, though, I may go back through and look and see uh, basically uh, what uh, I might want to buy list though for. Uh, to try and get uh, some of the other ones though. I'll probably sit on that credit though while I go ahead and look to you know pick up a buy list uh, and get more credit though for uh, basically uh, filling out what I need though. Uh, and I, I tell you though that if I would have hit or if I you know I don't foresee me at this point now uh, basically finding one of those uh, magical uh, neon ink heads of goose at this point but as I mentioned there when I open up that collector box that I had managed to snag there uh, just to take my chances on and I found it though depending on you know, I, I would say that depending on the color though Depending on what I would do. Had I found the, the most unique or rare one though, that would have been, I would have basically looked at uh, selling that or trading it straight up for dual lands. Why? Because dual lands though, um, and especially, uh, and more importantly, uh, basically older, not just, not revised, but go back. So that would have been the, the toughest though, either to do, uh, basically take the um, Petazugu and trade it for uh, basically you know uh, unlimited dual lands though uh, or a unlimited though more than likely at 1800 though for the um, if you could get 1800 though, I think you'd be tough pressed or hard pressed to get uh, basically um, 
you'd be limited on what you could get in the unlimited uh, dual hands though. But you could easily get a couple of the revised dual lanes. And I think that probably might be a better play though because you what you would do is you'd be moving all of your eggs in that one basket of either the uh, Herazuku and the Neon Ink, um, the red one. Uh, you'd be moving it one into something that's much older. Uh, has basically a historical value uh, and if you opted to go ahead and uh, you know basically say get something like uh, you know um, a revised uh, volcanic island though uh, an underground sea uh, scrub lands any one of the higher end dual lands to start with though and then looking and then maybe you from there look to see what you could do um, going down though from there into you know the more mid or lower tier um, dual lands though because at that point though you know your underground sea volcanic island those depending on condition we're going to top you out you know around depending on where you look at which and the condition new, you know, let's say anywhere between uh, let's say anywhere between eight to a thousand dollars, okay? Just depending on which one you choose and condition, okay? So that basically means that if you if you get eighteen hundred, whatever, whether it's straight up trade or sale, whatever the case may be, okay? Well. Now you're left with, let's say, conservatively 800. Well, you're not getting another high tier one, but you could potentially look at trying to get, you know, a mid tier um, dual land though, or you could go a little further down the line toward this the plateaus and pick up maybe two or three uh, of the lower tier ones. So now you've spread out your, basically your eggs among multiple dual lands there. And that basically gives you a better uh, chance on it. So anyway guys, that's uh, gonna wrap up this video though. Um, I got a couple more that I'm gonna be uh, doing here uh, as well though. Um, I've got uh, so I've had the opportunity to go ahead and complete and with the exception for some odd reason the uh, shadows over Innistrad deck minus apparently two cards I'm not sure uh, why it seems to be that the the issue right now is that the case that it's sitting in though seems to be a little tighter for some reason some of the other cases of the exact same style so ultimate guard uh, sidewinder open it up there's your deck uh, actually there's the two spare ones apparently the so it's a 98 card deck instead of the full hundred um, and there's just a it's so tight now I'm hoping that as it sits in there though uh, that that will help to uh, basically work loose the extra space needed. Uh, I've also completed, but you guys have not seen yet um, the bundle for this deck. I think, although I will just kind of mention it, Fate Reforged. Um, so if you haven't seen the the bundle, that will be coming uh, after Shadows of Innistrad's. Uh, basically the deck is revealed uh, at some point though uh, then I've got uh, the other ones that I'm still working on here um, and uh, so I'm taking uh, the opportunity to work on those put those together uh, and that way I can follow up though um, I also have a funky jump start deck that I put together uh, but what else we got to complete though I've got uh, Aether Revolt 
uh, Dominaria, uh, Journey into Nyx, uh, Zendikar, um, and Kaldheim. So I got plenty of them. So that's going to be uh, keeping me busy. And of course, we got new packs coming. We got uh, June Rotten rolling around here. Um, I still have a stack of um, uh, basically some uh, jump starts that I need to record and open. Uh, and I, I love using this one here just as a tease though. So tell me what you think is in this deck. You'll probably see this uh, option listed here more than once though in the future. So, alright guys, I'm out. We'll catch you in the next video. I gotta. Looks like I gotta change the battery anyway, so have a great day guys.